<laughs> and what colour is your cat? Mm. Is it white? Mm. Yes. Oh. Both white and black, I did. White and black? Mm. Yeah. It was probably around six months old when we first had a few health concerns. Is it dirty? Is it dirty? At the same time that that was happening, we started to have a few concerns about his development. Happy birthday to you. He wasn't sitting up and then about a year he wasn't walking and he wasn't even beginning to babble or, or talk. So that's when he had real concerns. Come on then, shush at the door, Owen. Come on, Owen. It's hard for him in terms of his movement and his coordination in particular. Big step again, Owen, look. And he's quite insecure about movement, so often Rob and I have to be with him to do most activities. Are you OK? He can't talk very well. He's got limited verbal capacity, so he can say maybe 20 or 30 words. Right, come on then, let's get on this way. Higher or stop? Higher. Higher? He was on growth hormone injections for a while. He's had blood transfusions in the past. He's had a steroid trial, a lot of appointments. Some of them are quite invasive. We were told sometimes people just never get a diagnosis, which is obviously not an easy thing to hear. And it was at that point that we were entered into the 100,000 Genomes Project. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if we would get a diagnosis and we'd been entered into studies before and we hadn't got anything. We all have about 5 million places in our genomes where our DNA vary from each other and this is what makes us individual. Owen had low blood counts and as part of his investigations into that he was seen at a specialist clinic at Imperial College Hospitals. Owen's results came back and there was only one variant that had been prioritised by the pipeline and this was in a gene called THRA. Initially we weren't sure that this was really relevant for Owen, but we did know that Professor Chatterjee in Cambridge had a specialist interest in these very rare thyroid conditions. We discovered resistance to thyroid hormone alpha in 2012, a condition due to a genetic mutation in one of the thyroid hormone receptors, thyroid hormone receptor alpha, and this is a protein in the cell which controls the actions of thyroid hormone on different tissues in the body. And this condition is very difficult to diagnose because although patients don't respond properly to thyroid hormone in their tissues, blood levels of thyroid hormone are virtually normal. We received the diagnosis when Owen was four and a half years old. For me, it was transformational. I didn't realise how much I wanted a diagnosis. You put your life on hold and you think about well, what's going on with my child? And you have no answers. And that's really hard to deal with. And then when we did get some of the answers we wanted, it was amazing because I knew it wasn't something I'd done. Owen was initially referred to us when this condition was identified. And when they initially came, they didn't know very much about the condition because it was so rare. There's only about 30 patients identified worldwide. So we were able to share our expertise to inform them more about how the condition was affecting Owen. To get that specialist support and information so we can understand what might happen for Owen in the future, it was a gift. We started him on a thyroid hormone tablet called Thyroxin. We reassessed him then in the clinical research facility to try and determine how he had responded to the treatment. And rather gratifyingly for us, we were able to determine that many features had improved. So he was growing, his energy expenditure, also termed his metabolic rate, was improving. Oh, okay. Help, please. The treatment that he has at the moment is very, very easy. It's taking one tablet a day, essentially, which he takes without any trouble. There we go, good boy. Owen really likes to go to Cambridge to see the team there because they have such a lovely relationship and they give him so much of the time. He's very fond of Greta, the head nurse there, to the point that he actually cries when he has to go home. <laughs> I think Owen's case illustrates the value of the 100,000 Genome Project perfectly. 
namely that it has allowed a condition which is not at all easy to diagnose clinically to be identified, but also initiate treatment. The 100,000 Genomes Project has laid the foundations for the new NHS Genomic Medicine Service to make sure that children like Owen have the best chance of getting a diagnosis as early in life as possible. That's right, Owen. I just want Owen to have a full and fulfilled life. And as part of this project, we found out so much about Owen and he has the best chance now. <laughs>